how can we change the fate and the fortunes of our future generations? What transformative strategies do we need to construct a peaceful, united, prosperous, inclusive society with a competitive economy in the region, in the continent, and the, at the global level? And everyone in this venue and beyond is considered as an architect and a stakeholder of this process that's being launched today for, for our common future. The thought of a long-term transformative vision has been with me for a long time. But my annual address to the nation on January 1st this year marked the official birth of the centennial vision. It was a thinking that has taken some time and that has went even through privately long debates and many debates on this issue. I instructed the National Economic Council to lead the development of the Centennial Vision, to work closely with all stakeholders, including the ministries, departments, and agencies of the federal government of Somalia, the federal member states, civil society organizations, private sector associations, our international partners, and all segments of our society. This vision is, in terms of economy, is based on the future of Somalia as a nation, as a country. It's economy driven by the private. with our international partners, mainly the IMF and the World Bank, to have an access to international financing institutions. Those financing institutions, we want our, our private people, our in, uh, private industry to link with them. Not that only the government of Somalia will link, but it is the private that's going to have an open access, an easy access to the international financing institutions so that this economy, with all the international economies that are relevant today, was mainly private driven. And Somalia is not an exceptional. We're just following the footprints of our friends and partners in the world. The fishing has received endorsement from the political tire of the National Economic Council, the National Consultative Council, and finally, the cabinet of the Federal Republic of Somalia. The Prime Minister appointed technical task force from 21 ministries and the Central Bank to support the National Economic Council in this process. The vision is a whole government initiative. I instructed also the National Economic Council members to learn from other countries. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. This process, many countries went through in our neighbors, in our continent, and uh, globally. So we need to go see how the other is done, and then adjust it to our context and our situation. I instructed the National Council members to learn from other countries through dedicated study tours, hosting the engaging with the international expertise, visiting federal member states for consultations, and engaging with key national stakeholders in the country and abroad. Today, what we have in front of us is the completion of phase one of the vision development process. The vision development is a process that is started and continuing and reached to the end, and then producing a life document that will always be adjustable to the circumstances that exist in the country. Phase two will involve detailed and rigorous assessments so that we know the critical challenges, opportunities, 
phase three will be the formulation of the vision document itself, which will have clear pillars, critical enablers, and cross-cutting themes that the vision will realize. The vision is a comprehensive, inclusive, and transformative initiative, which we will reflect the aspirations and the dreams of the Somali people. It will provide a clear path to long-term inclusive development and will anchor all the future development strategies, plans, and policies. It will allow us to take, it will allow us to break off from the long-standing legacy issues and will place us firmly on a sustainable development path so that our country can take its rightful position and place regionally and globally. It will enable us to lock in all the gains we have made as a country over the past decades and identify context-specific solutions for our challenges. It will be implemented through a series of national development plan plans from 2025 onward until we reach 2060. Lastly, it will provide clear linkage to and alignment is with the regional global development agenda, including the Sustainable Development Goals, African Union Agenda for 2063, 20, East African Community Vision 2050, and IGAT Vision 2050 as well, and the global, global climate change agreement that has been made in the past and those we are going to do in the future. Our country has made significant strides in state building, economic recovery, significant progress in the fight against terrorism and re-establishing ties with its international friends and partners, notwithstanding the very difficult challenges despite the positive trajectory, the, the progress, the positive trajectory, the progress that has been made low. Cognizant of this, I call it this year the year of delivery. During my annual address to the nation, our focus as a government was to achieve progress on a number of key priority issues. Prioritize addressing the humanitarian crisis with international support. To be able to avert famine in the past and to significantly weaken the grip of the terrorists in our country and finally defeat them in the near future. To establish constitutional review process, which was a long-term dream as well. Every political leader, every Somali citizen has always been dreaming to reach a point where we can claim that this country has a constitution that has been uh, completed by its own people. To ensure we reach to, to ensure we reach the completion point of the IMF World Bank HIBIC initiative by December 2023 was another milestone that the Somali people and the Somali leadership has been dreaming a long time. As I earlier said, I'm honored and I'm, I'm so lucky to be the one who initiated the debt relief and uh, who have the chance to witness its end in, this, in the near future. To launch the Sicilian Vision 2060, with all these soft goals, some of which we have already achieved, while we are on the cusp of achieving the remaining ones, let us all be inspired by the remarkable progress we've made and the extraordinary opportunities that's before us. Of course, opportunities are not without challenges, and we are ready to face those challenges. As we embark on the remaining phases of the vision, let us all remember that transformative changes are always possible if we come together and contribute to the process. The road ahead is riddled with numerous thorny issues. However, I am fully confident that Somalia as a nation can live up to the challenges ahead. I am also confident that a major source of inspiration is found 
in the resiliency and the perseverance of our people, those who never give up, those who strive it in every possible way to keep this nation going, and those who fought every day for peace, justice, and fair society. Finally, I would like us to remember the development is about people, and people are the main agents of change. Therefore, while the government is committed to developing a robust centennial vision, it is a centennial vision 2060, it is successfulized with all of us. With this conviction, I urge all Somalis to work hard on the capacity they are engaged in this way we will succeed in making Somalia a prosperous nation and proud place to live in. We can count on our people's determination, resilience, and courage to create a better future for our country. We also count on our partners who have been standing with us all the difficult days and will stand with us all the good days that are coming. I thank you. Isbital ka dawo kilini gwa hawo kami di hai isbital adha dabi ba xano nada kudda a hawayenka. Adhi gila isbital ka u bixiya wa xa kami da da wienta biqis ka da wienta dalmala anta da wienta infakshan ka da wienta aada warayr ka. Sido kala isbital ka wa xa u gabta barita nada. Hormono da da wienta buro biyood ka yaka li madho da da wienta ka di baxsad ka. Aso asha da xo yada uur ka leh yado. Lala talina yo, lana dawina yo. Izbital ka waxa ka hol gasha di toraysa qamar ta wana ahmed o kuta ka sustay u darada hawaen ka yaka li madu da. Izbital ka waxa u le ya hay kompiyotar ka ur kujirta yado lala so ona yo ilmaha aloosho kujira aafibad gu da. Hamu gan dawo kilinig.